what's happening? So I've been experimenting. If you see me looking over my shoulder, I've been experimenting with a ring light that my wife advised me to get. Um, but I figured out with uh, glasses, you can't put the phone in the middle of the ring light or else you get ring lights on your glasses. Um, yeah. But anyway, moving on, I digress. Um, you might call this a bandwagon video, but um, I want to take a minute to talk about the teaser that John Mayer and PRS Guitars put out on Instagram. Because it appears that on January 11th, 2022, we may find out if we're going to get an SE Silver Sky. Um, I have mixed emotions about this. Um, so I have had one Paul Reed Smith. Um, I've played several SEs. I had an S2 for a while, but I sold it because I didn't like the neck. Um, I'm excited about it because I play a Venturia Strat, which is a vintage style Strat with a seven and a quarter radius. I play a Joe Strummer Telecaster, which is a vintage style Telecaster with a seven and a quarter radius. Um, I have other guitars, but those are my two favorite guitars. And so I'm a fan of the seven and a quarter radius. And let's be honest, um, I will say that when it comes to stability in guitars, um, playability and fret work, Paul Reed Smith is probably uh, the best there is. So I'm excited that they're gonna release, hopefully, it appears that way, they wouldn't have tagged John Mayer if it wasn't gonna be an SE Silver Sky. So I'm excited about it, but I have some mixed emotions because none of the SE guitars have the good pickups, or the great pickups, I should say. Because the stuff that's in the SE guitars, I don't want to disparage Paul Reed Smith and say it's not good. Um, it seems like every S, every SE that I've ever picked up or I've ever played, it seems like they went to great lengths to um, get the pickups pretty good. But they're not the same as what comes in the um, the core line Paul Reed Smith guitars. They're, they're just not. I'm sorry. They're flat out not. They're different. Um, and so my concern with this is that everybody's going to get super hyped up and excited that we're getting an SE Silver Sky. And you're going to be let down because they're not going to have the 635 pickups in them. I mean, we know they're not. There's no way you're going to get uh, a, a Silver Sky type guitar, which, you know, is like 23 to 2500 bucks new and like 1800 to 2000, 2100 used. There's no way you're going to get a guitar specced at that level that has the um, 635 pickups in it. It's just not going to happen. So what's going to happen is, is you're going to get a version of the 635 pickups that come from their overseas factory. And it's Paul Reed Smith, so they'll be good pickups. Like, I don't, again, I need everybody to understand that, you know, little piddly old me is not disparaging Paul Reed Smith at all. I just want to make it clear that everybody's going to get super excited about this guitar. And let's be honest, all the other features are great. Seven and a quarter radius, you know, the way the body looks, the colors they're using, all that stuff's great. But let's be honest, when it comes to anything related to John Mayer's guitars, what everybody's super geeking out about is the pickups. The Big Dipper pickups that run the Strat go for insane money on the internet. Um, the pickups that are in the Silver Sky are unbelievable. I, I mean, every video I've watched, like from a novice playing it to like Paul Reed Smith playing it to John Mayer playing it, the pickups are ridiculous. And so I think people will get excited about this and they'll buy it and then they're going to be kind of let down because in the 12 to 1500 dollars retail probably if i was a betting man i'd bet that it was like 9.99 to 11.99 street price you know sweetwater big box store price right around 1200 bucks it's gonna be like a 1500 dollars retail guitar i think and it's gonna ride in just under a grand street price after a while probably who knows i could be completely wrong this is all speculation. Um, I didn't want to screenshot the thumbnail and all the other stuff like some other channels have done. I'm not that big. Um, I have like 
no subscribers or nothing, so I don't want to do anything risky and get in any trouble. But I just wanted to share my opinion because typically with Paul Reed Smith guitars, where you find a lot of the sacrifice in the SE line um, and in the affordable, like S2 and some of the other affordable, quote unquote, American made models is, is they put the pickups that are made overseas in there and they're just not the same. That's not to say they're bad, but they're not the same. And so I think people are gonna get super excited about this and then you could end up being sort of let down because it's not the same pickups. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't know, I, I, I hope I'm wrong. I'll be honest, if it has a 635 pickups in it, I wouldn't care if everything else on it was crap. We know it won't be crap because there's nothing that Paul Reed Smith does that's bad, in my humble opinion. Um, I just, most of their guitars are a, 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 a 10 inch radius, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I like the seven and a quarter radius for me and how I play, but if you've seen my other videos, I'm a horrible player, so, <laughs> you know, I'm decent at best on my worst day. Um, and so maybe my opinion is not that valid there, but um, I don't know. I'm definitely excited about it, to be honest with you. I, 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 um, I probably will try to get my hands on one some kind of way. Um, you know, I want a regular Silver Sky because again, the pickups are ridiculous. They're the best strap pickups I've ever heard. Uh, sorry, you know, it's just my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see guys. Anyway, um, it's almost New Year, so Happy New Year. Having a little uh, bourbon and Coke like I like to do sometimes. And uh, yeah, I just want to throw something out there quick because I haven't made a video in a while. I'm working on getting my editing skills better and learning, you know, um, some of that stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Again, just kind of chipping away at this on the weekends. But uh, Happy New Year, folks. Take care. Bye.